Check out this cool article I found. About 2.5 billion T-Rex roamed Earth, but not all at once. 2.5 billion T-Rexes. Now, this is, of course, over the course of them reigning over the Earth as one of the, you know, apex predators on this planet. Here's an epic photo of uh, a T-Rex uh, as an asteroid strikes Earth. I guess m maybe they're trying to make this Chuxalub, which is supposedly the asteroid that hit the Earth and killed all the dinosaurs. Oh, that's a cool, cool story. One tier, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex seems scary enough. Now picture 2.5 billion of them. That's how many of the fierce dinosaur king probably roamed Earth over the course of a couple million years, a new study finds. A couple million years. That's pretty amazing. Using calculations based on body size, sexual maturity, and the creature's energy needs, a team at the University of California, Berkeley, figures uh, figured out just how many T-Rex lived over 120 South. Uh, 127,000 generations. According to a study in Thursday's Journal Science, it's a first-of-its-kind number, just like an estimate with a margin of error that's the size of a T-Rex. <laughs> I see what they did there. That's a lot of jaws, said study lead author Charles Marshall, director of the University of California's Museum of Paleontology. That's a lot of teeth. That's a lot of claws. The species roamed North America for about 1.2 million to 3.6 million years, meaning the T-Rex population density was small at any one moment. There would be about two in a place the size of Washington, D.C., or 3,800 in California, the study says. Probably like a lot of people, I literally did a double take to make sure that my eyes hadn't deceived me when I first read that 2.5 billion T-Rexes have ever lived said uh, Malin uh, McAllister, McAllister College <laughs> paleobiologist Christy Curry Rogers, who wasn't a part of the study. Here is a uh, awesome picture of a T-Rex uh, bones in before people are like, they're not real, they're rocks. Yeah, okay. They return to rocks. Uh, Marshall said the estimate helps scientists figure out the preservation rate of T-Rex fossils and underscores how lucky the world is to know about them at all. About 100 or so T-Rex fossils have been found, 32 of them with enough material to figure they are adults. If there were 2.5 million T-Rex instead of 2.5 billion, we probably would never have known they existed, he said. Marshall's team calculated the population by using a general biology rule of thumb that says the bigger the animal, the less dense its population. Then they added estimates of how much energy the carnivorous T-Rex needed to stay alive. Some are between a Komodo dragon and a lion. The more energy required, the less dense the population. They also factored in that the T-Rex reached sexual matur maturity somewhere around 14 to 17 years old and lived at most 28 years. Given uncertainties in the creature's generational length, range and how long they roamed the berkeley team said the population could be as little as 140 million or as much as 42 billion with 2.4 billion as a middle value so that's just a a, a middle value <whistles> wow the science about the biggest land living carnivores of all time is important but the truth as i see it is that this is kind of a thing that's just very cool, said Purdue University geology professor James Fal Farlow. And I agree. I love I love uh, T-Rexes. I love, I don't know, my favorite dinosaur. People have actually asked me this before. I think I'm going to go with a Stegosaurus. Maybe Triceratops. One of those two. Herbivores can still whoop ass. Right? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I'm going to... Pull up a Stegosaurus just in case you don't know. How many people saw the land before time? Do you guys love that? So these, if you don't know, these are the Stegosaurus. Really cool. Huge plated bones on their back. Very cool. And then, of course, the uh, Triceratops. If you don't know, if you don't know about Triceratops, I mean, come on. Where, you, where, where have you been living? Yeah.